Hi there, my name is Sierra. Welcome to the Glee Craft Corner and welcome back to a flip through of my second journal. This is a gift for a friend. It's basically a homestead record keeping type of journal, farm homestead theme. Um, and I'll explain some more elements that make it kind of personalized to her. It is two signatures with, I believe, 22 pages. So let's jump in. Um, and by the way, this is an altered uh, Vintage Reader's Digest. So, first page starts out with a tag um, that I got from Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. Um, there are a couple things I used from her in here. Um, thrifted some paper money, and I have some money that's like farm related. And this beautiful playing card. Looks like little homesteads to me, the little red barn and everything. So put that in a pocket here. This is a journal card. This is from Daphne's Diary. Um, and on the back is space to journal. It's just clipped in. <clears throat> um, so yeah, this actually kind of reminds me of her girl, her daughter. So I put that in there. I thought it was kind of sweet. Next page, we have a coffee. She's a coffee drinker um, journal card tucks in to this side tuck here. We've got some lace um, applique here. Got some chicken. She's got loads of chickens. Um, only one rooster so far, but uh, loads of chickens. She's got a label, and this is paper from the Daphne's Diary. And this is the back side. Like, look at how beautiful that is. I made a belly band out of a tractor with some paper from Dale. Um, it's some of the apple paper she sent me. Um, my friend has a little apple tree on her property, so I thought that that would be perfect. Um, this is a little pie tuck spot with a couple little pieces that she can journal on. And then this is a page out of a Boy Scout book from the 70s. Since it's about gardening and raised beds, I just thought that it would go kind of nice. Um, generally, she has like a nice garden throughout the year. Got this crochet doily. I believe this was from Dale, I want to say. Now this has on hand and ordered. It's an ordering form and I thought it'd be good to keep track of medications or supplies for the animals. And then she has extra space to maybe doodle out some um, gardening bed plans or her rotation for when she um, rotates her crops. Um, this paper came from a magazine, I believe. Uh, I got a pocket here with a journal card. Cute little kids. And then this is from Dale. It had the farmer's daughter, one of those song cards from the 40s that she sent me. So I put that in there. Next page is this tree with some writing space. Um, she likes bees, so I put this bee page with some lace. Flip it. This pocket here is from Dale. And it's got some little um, see-through jar stickers. Uh, my friend Cans. She's made me some jams and apple butters and things like that. Um, I think we're going to try and do some salsa this next year. Got a little flower charm here because she does grow some flowers. Not a ton, but a few. Got this cute picture. Little girl out of this tree, the pail. Um, this is a die cut that I thrifted with some paper, so just a little collage. This is some embossed paper that I thrifted with these cute little chicks and a duckling. Here's the back side and the other side of the tree paper. Keep going, little um, cutout from the Daphne's Diary. The other side of the ordering form and the blue sheet. This is from Dale. It's a, uh baggie that she can keep things in and I thought how fitting because it's in a jar um, behind this piece of a giant strawberry page. She can journal on that. This is just a collage, collaged page with lace and rabbits. There's another page from the Daphne's Diary. And then this is a bookmark with some of this lace on the tuck spot. This is um, recently um, given to me in a giveaway from Jen. Um, 
I'm going to tag her channel so you can check out her um, products. She makes these beautiful lace snippets. And then we got some more chick page, more journaling space, and some extra stationery in this envelope. And it just looked like little homesteads on the end. So I tucked that on the buffalo checks. And that is the end of the first signature. Second one starts out with this little bow. I put this little middle piece on it in the center. And you got a bird page with some lace. Got this beautiful duck, frog, love that. And I like how it played against the greens. Got this page with a pocket with some lace and a journaling card I made that looks kind of like a carrot. It's even got some lovely trim here. Got this gold spoon embellishment. All right, got this fussy cutted spoon. Can't remember where that's from. Put it on the back of this blue page that so she could continue writing any orders or notes down. I got a floating goat. She has several goats. We'll be having more at her homestead, I think, coming this spring, which I'm excited about. Mama with some chicks. Fussy cut tomatoes, I believe, from the Daphne's Diary. Got this page with food. I picked it because it, she has like little breads down here and she bakes homemade bread. Got this pie picture here. I got an upper tuck spot and I just made like a little scrappy pad with some papers um, that Dale sent me. So thank you, Dale. All right, the next page, this is a page from the Daphne's Diary and it's gorgeous paper. I got a page from a shorthand book and this is the middle of the signature. This little girl kind of reminds me of her daughter again. So I put that in there. All right, in here I got a little mini bingo card. I got some cow money, um, a money from the Mooney Makers. This one's got a, another cow on it. This one says Pleasant Pasture with a cow and another quarter um, roll. And there's a little girl in the back of this wrapping paper. The other side of the shorthand paper, I just did some collage with some stickers. Thought it looked kind of pretty over the shorthand and the fact that you can kind of see it through some of the stickers. I just thought it was kind of cool. The other side of that Daphne's Diary paper, just gorgeous, little macarons. Um, the other side, here is the other side of the pie paper and it says, at last the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. So I put this three dimensional pie sticker and some stars. There's a little girl, um, got a little watermelon puffy sticker on top of this other page for some journaling space, journaling space, got some chicks, this extra little piece that she can write on, tuck anything underneath if she wants to kind of hide anything. These items, this lace and this uh, dragonfly piece were from Carrie the Paper Monkey. So I just collaged over on this page. Um, just to give it some more visual interest. Got a blue page with a label on the back, an ordering page with some faux tickets. Got this gorgeous needlework page of a bird with a milk cap that I bought in Spokane at the Art Salvage store. This is more Daphne Diaries paper that she can just leave a little note. This cute little duckling page, duckling in the pond. And then this just reminded me of a homestead, not that she needs a get well soon card, but I thought it was darling. And I tucked this in here for her to journal on. Friends are flowers that never fade. Um, this is for my best friend. So that concludes it with the end of the signature. And in the back, I just have this card that says farm expense. Hunt more seeds for planting, pay X amount of dollars. We buy seeds together to save money on shipping. And I got this. Um, this might be, I think this is paper from something that Janet Kay um, sent me. So I will link her channel down below. And uh, that concludes my flip through of my second journal. Go ahead and leave me any comments of what you guys think down below. Um, 
I'm really happy with how it turned out. Here's the back. I really enjoyed the process of making this and sourcing it and picking things that were just for her. Um, and so I just, I'm really excited to give this to her for Christmas. So on a other note, I am doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. I've actually been sourcing items for this, which I'm really excited about. It's things that have not been shown on my channel, including a vintage ideals, I believe from the fifties and some vintage fabric that has not been shown on my channel, um, which has all been intentional. I was hoping that when I got to 200, I could um, give those items away. So if you'd like to enter that, just be a subscriber and comment down below with your favorite thing in this journal. I'm going to run it, I think, probably, whew, I'm gonna give it until, I think the 24th. Um, that was my grandpa's birthday. My grandpa passed away last year, and so it's kind of a special day for me. So you have, if you want to enter by leaving a comment on, um, on or before November 24th. So I will close it after that date. Uh, you have to be 18 years or older. Obviously, you know, this is endorsed by YouTube or anything. This is all just me. Um, yeah, have to be 18 years or older. And uh, yeah, my first giveaway. I'm excited about it, guys. Uh, November is going to be a good month. Thank you all that have watched this so far, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.